everyone, my name is Anka, and today I'll be doing a video about Arctic Tundra Food Chain. And before we start, please subscribe, leave a like, and comment, since that really helps the channel grow. Thank you. Let's get started. Sun is a source of energy. The sun is the main source of energy for every ecosystem or habitat, and this includes the Arctic. So, yeah, you might not think there's sun in the Arctic, but there is, and there's not always, no, there's a summertime in the Arctic, it still might be cold, but there is time where plants get to grow and stuff. Next, we have the producers. Lichens are the producers. Lichens are producers. This means they use the sunlight for energy. Cool fact, during the winter, lichens usually is covered with layers of snow. This means that many animals which depend on lichens have to dig down under the snow to find lichens. So lichens have the ability to survive in the Arctic since they are like under the snow layer when it snows there in the Arctic. So that's the main thing. Caribou, primary consumers are herbivores. Caribous are primary consumers. They're herbivores. They eat the lichens or the producers. Cool fact, caribou have hooves which are in a concave snake shape. That is what makes them walk across the snow. So caribou eat the lichen or the producers since they're herbivores and they le rely on plants and um, one part which helps them eat lichen is a concave shape they can dig down and they really just don't slip like you would so yeah. Next, arctic wolf, secondary consumer or carnivores. Arctic wolves are secondary consumers. They are a carnivore. They eat caribou or the primary consumer. Cool fact, Arctic wolves are usually all white, what could be gray or a little mix of both. So what I'm saying here is Arctic wolves, you might think they should be on the top of the food chain, but you'll see last, which is the territory ter 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 consumer, but um, they eat Arctic um, caribou, and basically um, they can be eaten by any other animal, especially the territory one, but they're almost on the top of the food chain. Secondary consumers are almost at the top of the food chain, except for one level, which is the territory consumer, which is a polar bear. Polar bears are tertiary consumers. This means they are at the top of the food chain. They're carnivores. They are one of the few predators of Arctic wolves. Cool fact. Polar bears are endangered animals due to climate change affecting their habitat. Polar bears are on the top of the food chain, and they are, in my opinion, they're one of the most well-known animals in the Arctic. And they can eat Arctic wolves. They're one of the only few predators which eat Arctic wolves. That might sound surprising, but they do eat them. So, that's basically why they're top of the food chain, and that's really why. Arch, um, polar bears are top of the food chain because they can eat animals which eat other animals, which are herbivores, if you know what I mean. So yeah, thank you for watching. As I said, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you, and hope you enjoy.